Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. Steinberg recently released Spectral Layers 12, the latest version of their advanced spectral audio editor. Spectral Layers is known for its audio restoration and unmixed features, and in this version there have been a number of improvements and new modules. From an audio post standpoint, there are numerous great features in this version. These include notably improved unmixed noisy speech and voice denoise modules, new voice enhance and deplosive modules, and the feature which is the focus of this video, unmixed soundtrack. This allows us to split an existing mix into dialogue, music and effects layers. Before we get into this, let's take a listen to the audio we'll be working with. This is a short film trailer. There are ways of traveling through dimensions. Certain individuals are born with the ability, though they often don't even know they possess it. So you get the idea. There are times when you'll need to work with mixed content such as trailers like this or a complete TV show or movie, but you don't have access to the original session or even stems. Maybe you need to reversion some legacy content into another language, replace some music or enhance the effects. Unmixed Soundtrack allows you to do this by splitting the audio into three stems, dialogue, effects and music. You can actually preview these here, but we'll just render it. Quality options include balanced, high and best. As you might expect, balance is the quickest, but it does this at the expense of quality. Best takes the longest, but gives the highest quality result. I'll click apply. As you can see, this is going to take more than 11 minutes on my system. I'm running a 2022 M1 Ultra Mac, and the trailer is 1 minute and 42 seconds long. As a point of interest, I tested this on the balance quality setting, and it took an amount of time which was about equivalent to real time. Anyway, let's skip to the point where this is done. OK, you can see that we now have three different colours in the spectrogram. These represent the three layers. Dialogue is represented in pink, music in blue, and effects in yellow. Let's start by soloing the effects. Skip onto here. It's done a very good job with that. Now let's see what it's done with the music. There are some remnants of sound effects in there, but I'll tell you shortly how you can manually move content selectively to other layers. Essentially, you can make a selection, and then cut it to a layer of your choosing. I did hear just the very start of a word in there too, but we'll deal with that shortly. Now, let's take a listen to the dialogue layer. There are ways of travelling through dimensions. Certain individuals are born with the ability, though they often don't even know they possess it. Great. And the next bit? Just make yourself comfortable. There are countless dimensions existing side by side. Take nice, long, deep breaths. Within each exists a different version of reality. On solo. So I'm in Hannah's dimension. How did I get here? With every breath. Dialogue. You're sinking deeper. But when people such as Hannah find themselves in situations of extreme music. And let's just skip on and hear some of the effects. The dialogue in particular is very clean. There were some effects bits on the music, and the very start of a dialogue line was also on the music layer. Let's take a listen to that. It's there, and it's the start of the word just. I'll choose the lasso selection tool and draw around this. This makes the selection across both channels by default, which is good in this case. Now I can play that in isolation. To move this to the dialogue layer, I'll do shift command X, and under target layer, I'll choose dialogue. Now moving over to that layer, it's in its rightful place. Just make yourself comfortable. 
By the way, all of the unmixed modules in Spectral Layers are lossless in the sense that nothing actually gets removed, it just gets split onto layers. So you might need to selectively cut some things between layers, as I just did, but you're not actually losing any part of the total sound. Once we have all of these layers and we're happy with them, we'll probably want to export them so we can use them in a door or video editor. To do this, we can do File, Export Layers. And this would of course give us three separate WAV files for the dialogue, music and effects stems. If you do intend to use these in a door, it might be quicker to use the ARA version of Spectral Layers. This works in a variety of doors, including Cubase, Nuendo and Pro Tools. Let's jump into Pro Tools quickly to see this working. With the audio in a session, right click and choose Spectral Layers, Edit. Pro Tools includes Spectral Layers Elements, which is the slightly more stripped back version of Spectral Layers. It includes loads of great features, but the unmixed soundtrack feature is a feature of Spectral Layers 12 Pro. So if you've purchased that and have it installed, the full feature set will be available in this ARA version, which is very convenient. I'll start the unmixed soundtrack process going, and once again, we'll skip to the point where it's done. Now that we've unmixed the audio in the door, we can simply drag and drop these layers onto tracks in the session, and then we can use these to rework the audio as needed. So that's the unmixed soundtrack feature in Spectral Layers 12 Pro. This is a notable update to the software, and I'll be covering some of the key features very soon, including some of the ones for processing dialogue. Keep an eye on the Production Expert blog for that, and in the meantime, head over to steinberg.net for more information on Spectral Layers 12. Thanks for watching.